Gentlelady yields back. Uh, chair recognizes Mr. Moskowitz for five minutes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you. This is an important topic, and we, we do need to get to the answers of why the Afghanistan withdrawal uh, did not go according to what the experts in the Pentagon and elsewhere thought. We need to know why there were intelligent gaps. We need to know how that happened. We, there are lessons to be learned so they're not repeated, so that other soldiers, other Americans, men and women, don't wind up in the same situation. I want to remind everyone, we had soldiers die over 20 years of the war, not just in the withdrawal. So this is just as much about them as well. And it's an important topic, and it's something I think the American people want to know and want examined. Um, and we have to make sure that we improve our military through oversight. But you know, you know, this committee, who says it's an important topic, you know, we're 100 plus days into the next Congress. And this committee thought that before we would talk about the Af Afghanistan withdrawal, they thought it was more important to talk about Twitter first. And not only did they think it was more important than the Afghanistan withdrawal, they thought it was more important to talk about the hiring policies of the Biden administration. They also thought it was more important to talk about a laptop that was found at Radio Shack before the Afghan withdrawal. You know, they thought it was more important to talk about the D.C. government and public urination before the Afghan withdrawal. And so I know this is a serious topic. But just look at the hearings we've had before this one. And so it's tough for us on this side of the aisle to accept that this isn't a serious hearing. This was a 20-year war. It was started by President Bush. You remember President Bush. I know many of you have disowned him because he disagrees with President Trump. But four presidents, 20 years of good decisions, 20 years of bad decisions. You don't want to examine 20 years. You only want to examine, like, the last week. You know, when marriages dissolve after 20 years and they get in front of a judge, they don't just say, you know, everything was great until the last week of marriage. It's crazy. President Trump invited the Taliban to Camp David around the anniversary of 9-11. What? Like, are there any questions about that? Trump released 5,000 prisoners, many that included terrorists, 5,000 Taliban prisoners, many that included terrorists. I, I thought, uh, Mr. Sopka, you said that it was Secretary Pompeo who negotiated that release of the Taliban prisoners. Is that correct? That is my understanding. It may have been somebody else with him, but I remember that. No, fair enough. And because this committee has amnesia, as we've shown on our COVID debates and other debates, who did Secretary Pompeo work for again? This is a never trick question, isn't it? It is. Uh, I think uh, President Trump. OK. Can you imagine? For a second, you don't have to answer this one. If Joe Biden had released 5,000 Taliban prisoners, many of who probably wound up in Kabul that day, can you imagine what these folks would be doing? I, I mean, I, the heavens would open for them based on, based on that. I mean, it would be unbelievable to watch. But they have no questions and never had any questions, and many supported the release of these prisoners. No, they don't want to know what effect that had at all on the fall of Kabul. No, don't look at that at all. Only look at the fact that it happened during a Democratic administration. You know, I, I'm even hearing some of my colleagues say that they can't get information out of this administration. It's ironic when those same colleagues didn't comply with subpoenas, now complain they can't get information. That's the problem with this place. You, 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 it's not serious. This is no different than COVID. You guys only wanted to talk about COVID under the Biden administration. COVID was a three-year issue. And so I'll end with this, Mr. Chairman. It, it was accused that the Democrats don't want to quit Trump. We'll quit Trump 
when you quit Trump. We look forward in a bipartisan fashion quitting Trump together. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.